Hello friends, welcome to the Bippity Boppy Vlog. I mean, vlog. Finding real magic in daily life. Today is Monday, April 16th, 2018. 106 days or less until my move to California. Today, we're going to talk about a really fun topic, and I have a guest with me on the vlog today, which I will tell you right after our Disney trivia. So the Disney trivia for yesterday is, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you haven't seen the vlog from yesterday, go ahead and pause this video and go back and watch yesterday's Bippity Boppity vlog. I mean, vlog. Go ahead, I'll wait for you here. So if you did watch yesterday's video, the answer to the trivia for yesterday is, drum roll please, Freaky Friday, which is also one of my favorite Disney movies. And for today's daily Disney trivia, we're gonna have a very special guest coming up. Welcome back. So we have with us my son, Xavier Fondin, and Xavier is going to do our Disney trivia for today. Take it, Xavier. So the Disney trivia for today is from one of my favorite Disney movies, and uh, I have it for you right here. It is do you want to buy a sundial? There you go. So yeah. <laughs> if you know the answer to that line, do you want to say it again? Say it again. Do you want to buy a sundial? Go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. So today we're going to talk about our favorite Disney park. So let's preface this. Where have we been? We've been to... We've been to almost all the parks we go not every, tokyo though not tokyo we haven't <laughs> been to tokyo or um hong kong we haven't been to hong we kong haven't been anymore. to hong kong yeah um we've been to paris california and florida at the moment um and i'm hoping that we can go to tokyo or hong kong sometime soon because that would be very very fun i think um and the the three parks that we've been to have been very very good so i really respect disney for making the parks very fun and and happy. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you were kind of little when we went to Disneyland Paris, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was very small. Yeah, last time he was about four years old, so he probably doesn't remember it too well, but um, I love Disneyland Paris. I think if you have an opportunity to go to Disneyland Paris, by all means, yeah, go to Paris, but definitely hit Disneyland because that is a, and it's an amazing park. It's a very beautiful park too. Mm. So, Xavier, what is your favorite Disney park? Um, out of the three that we've been to, it's definitely Disney World, and my favorite section, or park inside the park, um, <laughs> is um, Animal Kingdom, actually, because I love animals, and I just think it's a great park. What, what makes it such a great park? What makes Animal Kingdom such a great park? So, I like the aspect of you walk into it, and you don't really know kind of where you are, you just kind of walk into a forest scene, and um, you, you're wandering through a little... Um, rainforest slash jungle area and you come across a big bridge that leads into a giant tree and you get the Disney aspect from there but when you walk in it's very very confusing because in all the other parks you have just that's true yeah you have, the, you have the icon of the park right at the front and you can just walk in and just get blown away by it but in Animal Kingdom, you gotta work for it. Yeah. You gotta walk inside. You kinda gotta yeah. search it out, right? Exactly, yeah. And like some people might think Animal Kingdom is kinda like a zoo, right? Mm -hmm. You think animal zoo, but it's not really like that, is it? No, it's not. It, you really get immersed in the magic and in the, uh, the feeling of it all because there's so many, there's all these sections of all these places in the world. So when you're going there, it feels like you're immersing yourself in that place and you're experiencing everything that you would have. Uh, being there. Yeah, so. totally. And actually, they, now they have that new section called Pandora based on yeah. Avatar. And I, I was not a fan of the movie Avatar. I don't know. Did you see Avatar? Uh, I have seen about half of it in Italian. Um, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> because I took a trip to Italy with my dad once and uh, it was there. So we watched it. Oh, okay. Did you enjoy it? It was, 
interesting. Yeah. It was basically Pocahontas with blue people. So. There you go. So, but I've heard that Pandora in Animal Kingdom is definitely worth seeing. It's It, mm -hmm. it sounds pretty amazing. So I we're going to be heading out to Disney World in 2019 in February. So I'm really excited to see Pandora. Yeah. So my favorite Disney park is, again, in Walt Disney World. And for me, it's Epcot. And I really love Epcot. Do you know why I love Epcot, Xavier? Why do you love Epcot? Why do you think I love Epcot? Just take a wild guess. Why do you think I love Epcot? I think you might love Epcot because there's so many cultures to experience. Yes. Exactly. So I love the World Showcase. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't been to Epcot yet, Epcot has the futuristic world. So there's a lot of lands that have, like, the future. So there is the, like... Test track, which is all about like you know the the best in automobile industry in the automobile industry, mm -hmm. and they have innovations, which is all about the future, and they have the land, which is really not about the future. It's just more about aquatic life, exactly, I guess. Right? Exactly. Exactly. They have the land and the sea, which are two parts yeah. of just explaining the earth and everything. <laughs> yeah, so. and then of course there's the big golf ball right yeah. which is the Epcot ball mm -hmm. which has the progression of communication so that's a pretty fantastic ride but my favorite really is the World Showcase which, ha which represents I think it's nine countries that it represents um, it's about I, that right I believe so yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah it's about nine countries which is totally amazing now before they kept it super authentic and they just had employees from those target countries so if you went to France and Epcot you were guaranteed to have all French citizens working in France in Epcot. So it was pretty darn amazing. Exactly. And this last time that we went, though, they did have some, like, Americans working in France, which I mm -hmm. thought was a little bit disappointing. <laughs> but that, That's a little bit disappointing. But again, on Disney's part, it's a little hard to have specifically that type of country's people come over and work there because yeah. they might not have enough. I think they had visa issues, too. They had issues with visas of people from the various countries being able to come over and exactly. stay over here and work. So, but yeah, I love the World Showcase. So um, we were recently at Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California, and it's a little bit different. It's, it's a lot smaller. So there's Disneyland Park, and there's Disney's California Adventure, DCA, which... I have not been to. We didn't go to DCA when we were there. We only had one day at the park, so we went to Disneyland Park. What did you find, Xavier? What did you find that was different about Disneyland Park versus the Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World? And was there anything that you actually liked about it that was a little bit different? I did like, um, so in Disney in Disney World in, in Magic Kingdom, there's not a lot of um, kind of LucasArts kind of rides because Disney has bought the company LucasArts. And I really like the Star Wars movies and the Indiana Jones movies. And in Disneyland, I liked that there was a lot of LucasArts-themed rides and attractions that I could go to and kind of experience what I, what I experienced watching the movies. Um, but in Magic Kingdom, it's very different because I think there's similarities, but there's also a lot of rides that are kind of iconic from Disneyland taken into there and changed a little bit. Yeah, I liked, um, especially, I really liked the Indiana Jones ride in mm -hmm. Disneyland Anaheim. That was pretty amazing. So if you haven't been to Disneyland Anaheim or you're planning on going, definitely check out Indiana Jones. I also thought the Jungle Cruise was pretty amazing. It was a little yeah. bit different. Jungle Cruise in Magic Kingdom was very different from Jungle Cruise in Anaheim, and I thought it was pretty darn amazing. So that was a great ride. They also have a ride that you really liked that I didn't like I, in Disneyland Park. What yeah, was it? I um I really liked the um Matterhorn. Matterhorn. Yeah, really, <laughs> you forgot, I but forgot you went on it like how many times? Like um, five times. I went on it like eight times. Oh yeah, there uh, you go. It was my first time there, so I really really liked that ride. I like how it's a little bit like um, Big Thunder Mountain in that there's not a lot of drops, but there's a lot of turns. And then in the end, there's one uh, kind of big drop where you go into water at the end just to kind of slow down your speed. And I thought that was a clever mechanic that they put in there. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. So, mm -hmm. you know, this vlog is all about finding daily magic, finding real magic in daily life. And really, Disney is the most magical place on Earth. Wouldn't you agree? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is totally the most magical place on Earth. And honestly, for those of you that are adults out there that just think like, ah, Disney is just for kids. It's totally not just for kids, wouldn't it, you say? It's not, yeah. So when Walt Disney designed Disney, he made it specifically for children and adults, 
whatever age you are, you can go there. You can have a great time with your family or whoever you're with. And it's honestly just a, just an excellent experience. Yeah, right? it's totally magical. It's amazingly mm -hmm. magical. And it's really the happiest place on earth. So what would you recommend, Xavier, to someone who has never been to the Disney parks and they're planning on going, and especially Walt Disney World? Since we're most familiar with Walt Disney World, we can give you the most information on Walt Disney World. If you're planning on going, you're thinking of taking your kids, or if you're a kid and you're trying to beg your parents to go, <laughs> this, would be, this would be good leverage here. So what would you recommend for someone who, let's say, has like three days in Walt Disney World? Okay. Um, again, with, with the, it really depends on time. If you have enough time to do certain things, then it's better. More time in Disney World is always better. As yeah, usual. definitely. It's more time on vacation. More <laughs> it's more money, vacation. but it is better. <laughs> exactly. Um, and if you had three days, um, the best thing to do really would be to, I'd say, first day probably Magic Kingdom, um, and then second day, Animal Kingdom, because those are the two parks that I think have a lot to experience at once. And then the third day, you should kind of do some Epcot in the daytime and experience some of the rides yeah. and the cultures that are there. And then at night, maybe, for a shorter period of time, you can go to Hollywood Studios, because there's not as much there, but there's still a lot to experience. Yeah, like you definitely want to see all four parks if mm -hmm. you can. Uh, and you would need to get a park hopper ticket if you want to go to more than one park in a day. So they have single park day tickets where you can only attend one park and then they have park hopper tickets, which means literally what it means is you can hop from park to park and you don't have to worry about just having to stay in one park for the entire day. Now, another thing is you definitely, right, you want to stay on Disney property. Why exactly. do you want to stay on Disney properties, Zav? So it's, so it's kind of you get immersed in the magic so much. When you walk into Magic Kingdom, it's like you're in your own story or fairy tale. And you're just walking around and you're experiencing all these rides and you're with your family. And it's like you're writing yourself into a book or a movie or anything. And once you come out of the park... And if you go back to a normal hotel or whatever, you're kind of breaking the magic here a little bit. You're just getting out of your story and going back to your normal life. But if you go into a Disney hotel, it's, it continues all the way when you sleep, when, you, when you're waking up in the morning, when you go, to, when you go to, um, to the pool, have fun with your family, your friends, or spend time with anyone. It's like you're still there. You're still in that story. You're just like immersed in the experience, exactly. right? And it's so worth it. It's so worth it. It's a little mm -hmm. bit more expensive to stay in a Disney hotel. But honestly, it's worth that magical experience. And it's mm -hmm. a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's, that's, this is something that you've been saving up for, your family's been saving up for, and you don't know when you'll return to Disney. I would say get the full Disney experience, and you'll experience the total magic. Exactly, because those these are memories you're going to be holding on for your whole life with your children. When you get old, you're going to have so many pictures and, and uh, videos and movies and all, of all the magic, and you're just going to be able to remember all the great, great times you had. And if you keep going, then you'll have more magic to share with everyone. Yeah, it's totally amazing. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Xavier, for joining me thank in you. today's vlog. And actually, before we go, I have a little fun fact about Epcot, um, Michelle's favorite part here. <laughs> um uh, there is actually in the um, Epcot ball, there are little grates in between all of the uh, little triangles that um, are on there that when it rains, it drains the water from there and drains it out into the little pedestals that they have on the sides into drains on the ground. So that's very useful and that, um, that's the, what the uh, Imagineers have thought out. And that's just a little bit of the behind the magic. That's amazing. Kind of and, exactly. you know, that's a little fun fact about mm -hmm. Disney and, like, how imaginative they are, even in the architecture of the parks. So thank you so much for joining us today. Please subscribe to my channel below. Share this video with your friends. And thank you for pledging your support on Patreon. I couldn't continue these videos without your pledge and support. www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fondant. And I will see you tomorrow in the next video.